A Pennsylvania teen has died just days before her high school graduation after she fell victim to being in the wrong place at the wrong time and was fatally shot in the head. Morgan Dunstan, 18, was pronounced dead in the early hours of Friday morning after she was struck by a bullet as she danced in a parking lot just hours after leaving her senior prom at Maquisport Area High School. Two of Dunstan's friends rushed her to a hospital after the drive-by shooting but the 18-year-old died shortly after arriving. Dunstan's twin sister, Jordan, who also went to the prom on Thursday evening, now says she's struggling to comprehend the loss of her sister, as she prepares to attend Slippery Rock Union. Just a few months' time, she feels like, if I go on and live my life, I am leaving my sister behind, Krim admitted on her grief-stricken daughter's behalf. And I said, Jordan, you have to do it for her. Because that's what she would want you to do. Prior to her sudden death, Dunstan was set to study cosmetology at a specialist school in the summer. Friends and family say they will remember her as a happy and caring teenager who was always on hand to offer help to another in need. Her mother will now accept Dunstan's high school diploma on her behalf on Thursday, just 24 hours before her funeral. On Saturday, family and relatives plan to host a graduation party for the twins and a celebration of life for Dunstan. She wasn't in a gang, Krim told the newspaper. She wasn't with the wrong crowd. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time, trying to enjoy life. Dunstan was shot down outside Hot Metal Bridge Faith Community Church. Several windows were shattered by a hail of gunfire administered by an unknown gunman. The church's pastor, Jeff Eddings, says he doesn't believe the holy building was the target of the assailants. My heart is really just concerned with the victim and what happened with whoever was here, Eddings said. Police say they're currently investigating a number of leads but no arrests have yet been made. Dunstan's death is being investigated as a homicide. Krim revealed that her daughter's murder was the second tragic death in the family's recent history. In 1998, her younger sister Kimmy Krim, 14, was found dead on a McKeesport hillside. 21 years on the cause of her death still remains a mystery. Krim's mother, Jeannie Krim urged the culprit to come forward, to spare the family another two decades of searching for answers. Everything that Angie is saying right now, I said 21 years ago, Jeannie said to WTAE. I always said that that we belong to this club that nobody should belong to, and that's the mothers who have to bury their children. I just don't understand, you know? Families can go a lifetime without losing anybody that they love to murder, and then for us to have to do this twice. Please come forward, she added. Don't let us go 20 years again without knowing. An online fundraiser set up to help cover the costs of Dunstan's funeral has reached nearly 4,000 as of Tuesday evening. Our beautiful Morgan Dunstan was taken from us early morning today while leaving a dance by a senseless drive-by shooting, leaving a family devastated, Beth Lara Tonda said on the page, on behalf of the family. Her mother, brother and sisters, one of which is her twin, are beyond grief-stricken. I would like to raise funds to help defray funeral costs and also help the family until her mom is able to cope with life again and return to work. Morgan was set to graduate from McKeesport High School next week and had a bright future ahead of her.